Hey guys, Cam for 15 back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another Kaiju number eight episode review for you guys. As my goodness, my goodness, uh, we get another episode of Kaiju number eight, and again, this is just showing me so far that this is anime of the season of new animes that we're getting this season. And my goodness, what an episode! We pick up where we left off from last week, and then we just get this amazing fight, even though it was like only a short fight, but just this amazing moment. And on top of it, um, you know, we're finally getting into the story and everything. We already got like a two, we already, we already got a time skip already, but um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Number one, we finally get the opening. The opening sounds great. The opening visuals look great too. It's like they it looks like they're using like CGI in it and the and it looks great. It looks great. The 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 opening sounds great. The ending also sounds great and it's funny enough. I was watching the episode and then, you know, I was hitting up my boy, the Red Wolf, who is a co-host on some anime episode reviews for me or on the channel and my goodness, you know, What's his face? We fig he found out that the ending is made by One Republic, which I'm just like, what the hell? I'm like, that's a that's something I haven't heard in a long time. So if you're a One Republic fan, um, and you like this anime, well, you must be eating good. Um, so it, it, it's good. I I liked it. I liked both the ending, um, and the opening song. It looks really cool. It looks like they also give some visuals and potential kaijus that will probably be up against in this in in this i guess this first season um there was a dinosaur looking one which are t-rex dinosaur looking one so it'll be interesting to see what's going to be going on right then and there but we pick up where we left off and we just have it to where kafka he's just an utter shock that he's a kaiju and everything and we see like okay as a kaiju He's pretty strong. It's like kind of like in that episode. It's kind of like in the episode. It's kind of like, you know, I, I, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. It's like when he first gets his powers, like he doesn't realize like, oh, he's super strong because he's got super strength. And obviously if he's it, Kafka's a kaiju, he's probably got a lot of men. He, he, he's probably got a lot of strength. Like you have it to where he presses up against this wall. Wall just sh shatters. And like he tries to even open up the window the entire window and like half that wall is completely shattered and just destroyed and everything um which that was absolutely crazy um just seeing that and everything and then even when he jumps you know he jumps farther than ichikawa does um but it's absolutely fun it, well it was funny when he would start freaking out and it's it's funny because i think his friend his, his friend was like hey why don't you try smiling and he would do like this you try to smile but to a human it's a scary type of look and everything because the dude just has the face of a scary looking kaiju albeit the form looks badass and everything it looks cool we even get some more like interesting things like it seems like he he turned like to this weird octopus little demon looking thing that you would see in these other shows like a, maybe a jujutsu kaisen and like it's weird like it, it looked like the f little mosquito thing and everything at first i was wondering like oh is it gonna have these moments to where maybe the thing that ingested in his body would take over i don't know maybe that still could be like a potential storyline um and everything and we still see even after the time skip like it's seemingly enough you can't control or turn in and turn out of this kaiju form at will um it's kind of like shows up sporadically especially when you get to the time skip portion um so maybe he hasn't mastered it and mind you there was like a time skip i think they said of like six months or something like that but anyways um hold on a quick second Got to get some refreshing in there. But, um, <laughs> so 
they end up running away and everything. Now the defense, the defense force, um, they're going after them specifically. But then we cut over to another explosion, or he overhears the presence of this other kaiju showing up, and we find out it's the same exact kaiju that um, it, it's it's the exact same kaiju that got ended up, you know, um, attacking them you know in the first episode which i um, could have swore this kaiju died um but i guess this kaiju can come back to life or something um and obviously you have this little girl that's entrapped in this space and the mom is like under this like bookshelf or this thing probably injured pretty badly and she's telling the kid like hey you need to get out of there but obviously the daughter's not going to leave her mom to die so you know you have it to where the kaiju that kaiju sees it and it obviously comes in looking like it's about to bite and eat them both but then you have it to where kafka ends up coming in and saving the girl and i'm just like oh okay maybe this can be the start um for kafka when he goes into his kaiju form to be known as okay he's a good one um and maybe the demon defense force or the kaiju defense force um we'll just be wary of this guy but obviously i'll talk about that in a quick second um but you just have it to where at first she's scared of this kaiju and even though like hey you know the the girl can hear popka speak and everything um she's still pretty scared and intimidated and he stupidly tries to smile and just makes her even more scared eventually ichikawa comes in and kind of reassures the girl to an extent and that that kaiju comes back you just get this crazy animation where he dodges the first attack and he's like counting he counts to only like i think four or five and at first i thought he was going to count to like number eight because it's kaiju number eight and everything but no he counts to that and he also has like some like i guess you could say like bioelectricity powers also too he just punches this thing with one punch after charging up this attack and completely just annihilates this kaiju with utter ease literally it just blows up its blood is like just coming down like it's if it's as it's rain and everything and basically you get a funny moment where ichikawa is like uh yeah don't do that to a human okay do not do that to a human because you will not be liked if you do that which makes sense right um and then basically you know you have it to where He's about to get away before the demon. Before, I don't keep calling him the demon defense force, the kaiju defense force. My God, um, what is it? They end up showing up, and basically the girl kind of is like, "Hey, Mr. Kaiju, thank you for what you did. Thank you for saving me and my mom." And this kind of takes him Kafka back and reflecting in the moment, because we do get a little bit of the flashback stuff with him and the and the girl that he, well, his childhood friend. I can also make. I can honestly make the case that they probably like each other maybe potentially romantically and it's clearly maybe setting up a romance angle probably even though they have yet to interact in current time and everything but it flashes them back to that moment to when um you know they were talking as kids and planning to be in the in, in the kaiju defense force um together and everything um yeah and you know because throughout the episode he's kind of like thinking like well maybe i can't be in the kaiju defense force now but because this girl's saying this um you know it gives him the courage to want to join to still continue his dream of joining the defense force and we kind of see it like he somewhat goes back to being a human we find out like oh, how they ended up getting back um they just basically said that they ran away and used that kind of excuse and everything now when the defense force ended up getting there they're seeing the remains of what happened the battle and everything and they're all like wait what the hell happened here um and then what is it um the girl goes up uh kafka's friend childhood friend goes up to um the little girl that kafka ended up saving and basically um the girl's like yeah this kaiju almost killed me and my mom and everything and i was scared and you know eventually the girl uh Ch kafka's childhood friends like i'll make sure to kill 
um, every kaiju uh, that's alive, essentially. And the little girl's like, oh. And then she picks up on this. She's like, and she, and obviously she picks up on the fact that the little girl looks sad. And the little girl's like, wait, are you talking about every kaiju? Because does that include the good kaiju that saved me, essentially? Um, and the little girl's like, the good kaiju defeated the bad kaiju. And this kind of throws the childhood friend back, you know, for a bit. And it's like, what? This little girl saying that there's a good kaiju out there. So maybe from this girl's thing, this girl's testimony, maybe what we'll see the childhood friend do is probably looking for this other kaiju, which is obviously um, Kafka. To see like okay are you a good kaiju or are you the bad kaiju now we do get a time skip like a six month six month time skip so a lot of time has passed um which is crazy and basically we find out that kafka's kaiju number eight they officially call him kaiju number eight and they basically say he's still on the loose and everything so it's interesting now they don't go and break it down as if they like we don't know or Kafka's narr narration doesn't explain like what he did within those six months. We don't know if they've just been doing the same old, same old stuff they've been doing while they applied for the uh, Kaiju Defense Force to hopefully get in, on um, which they both did in terms of the testing, the next test phase. But we don't know if he was fighting other Kaijus during that time and getting stronger and getting more accustomed to his abilities. So maybe they touch upon that. They probably, it sounds like they're not, so I'm guessing more than likely he, they must have just been doing their typical regular kaiju cleaning stuff while they're just waiting back for a response from the defense force to see if they passed the first test. Um, but they did, they both did end up passing the first test. They end up preparing to go to the second test. And again, they run into each other and it looks like Kafka can't control, still fully can, can't control when he can transform or when he turns into the um kaiju number eight form of his um and basically ichikawa which i think is a foreshadowing moment they wouldn't be teasing this so much like they tease it in the episode like in the in like with the final minutes of the episode like i think two or three times of ichikawa telling kafka hey you gotta make sure you can't transform into kaiju into the into your kaiju form otherwise these people will kill you on the spot and you even get another foreshadowing of the girl, which I'll talk to in a bit, um, that ends up like coming in saying like, oh, you smell like kaiju um, and everything. So I feel like that's a foreshadowing moment for him accidentally transforming to kaiju number eight. And the demon defense force is going to see this and they're going to try to take him out. Um, and who knows, maybe it's the childhood friend that eventually stops and like, hey, hold on a quick second. You know, are you in control of your abilities? And also maybe if the childhood friend comes across him in his kaiju 8 form he she could probably make the mention like oh were you did you end up killing stopping a kaiju and saving a little girl and if he says yes well then yeah and also too if he shows himself she'll probably definitely like all right then you can't do it um but they end up showing up to the trial site um we see some of the characters on the poster when you load up crunchyroll or whatever and then lo and behold, you have it to where this blonde haired pigtail girl, I forgot her name. Um, she's like, listen, can you move your freaking car out of my spot? I want to park here because five is my lucky number today. Now I'm just like, Ninja, does it really matter where you effing park? But it, at first I'm like, okay, she looks like she's one of those rich snobby kids or whatever. And then she, and then the dude's like, listen, just go find yourself a parking spot. But then um what happens is she just like all right fine i'll just move it myself and I was like move it yourself what are you talking about <laughs> um and then she starts undressing and she's in this power battle suit i'm guessing and this power battle suit activates and she has like super strength and she literally just throws her car out of the way and i'm just like oh brother i'm like we must got the like advance of the advanced people over here we got like super suited up people to be able to handle or increase their own strength. And then that's when we get left off of the cliffhanger where the girl's like, 
you smell like Kaiju because her thing is like, oh, I want to kill Kaijus and everything. So maybe we'll get more understanding for her. Um, now, how they could play it off, he'll probably say, oh, well, um, you know, before, you know, taking this, hopefully getting into the defense force, I actually ended up like cleaning the remains of Kaiju and things like that as a job and everything. So um, that's where we left off on the cliffhanger and everything. So hopefully this girl doesn't put two and two together. But honestly, we'll see. We will see. But another solid to great episode of Kaiju number eight. This show is still blowing me away with just what we're getting from it. And I definitely can't wait to see where we're going from here on out. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like the video, leave, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts and hit the... Um, and hit the subscribe button if you want to get more kaiju number eight content or any, or any other anime content i upload to the channel so then guys stay safe out there have a great rest of your day night or in this video peace